Nothing Good Happens After Midnight is a collection of terrific short stories by a group of writers who each have noteworthy histories for greatness in the class. A portion of the writers I knew about, some are unfamiliar to me. Few of them wrote about established characters in existing series. A few stories read like scenes from The Twilight Zone. The authors include Jeffrey Deaver, Heather Graham, Rhys Bowen and many more. Short structure fiction isn't something I consider generally. It takes a genuine ability to rapidly bring the reader into a story, get you to care without a long development and afterward immediately hit you with a significant turn toward the end. These writers, in this brilliantly imaginative book, manages to aptly tingle the spine each time. Here's a summary of few story. In 12.01 AM, Alan Jacobson tells the heart-beating story of an FBI profiler attempting to get data from a serial killer minutes before his execution as it seems a copycat or prepared accomplice is proceeding with his work. Cell Phone Intolerant by Kevin O'Brien is about a man who is tired of impolite individuals who are continually on their phones. We would all be able to relate. But Ed takes his indignation too far. All Aboard by Hank Philippi e. Ryan was one of my favorites. With shades of strangers on a train, this extraordinary story is about a PR leader on a sleeper train who catches from the following room a plot against a lady. At the point when the train stops, Katie embeds herself into the circumstance. Gone Forever by Joseph Bradal is a tragic story of a mass murdering. Given the topic, this was my least choice. The Creepy in Midnight in the Garden of Death by Heather Graham is about a few youngsters having a sleepover in a graveyard. The Sixth Decoy by Paul Kemprikos featured series character Aristotle Socarides. A private investigator takes a case and works for a man of questionable character. Jeffrey Deaver is an editor of this book and has additionally included one of its most innovative stories suitably named, A Creative Defense About a Very Unusual Murder. It also includes a few more stories and each of them are perfectly written. Kudos, Mr. Diva and your 12 different supporters, for an incredible collection of stories that truly get to the heart of the midnight hour.